let me thank the former governors and former ministers that are here. It was impromptu. They heard of this and they said they must be here. I want to sincerely thank them. I want to sincerely thank them. Your Excellency, let me once more say happy birthday to you and congratulate you and you, your wife was my mother and your children. When I went to see His Excellency, the, the celebrant and the wife, he said, what are you doing? 74. <laughs> so I had to celebrate 74, I had to celebrate 75. I was okay. I said, I hope you realize that I will not be governor in your next birthday. This is my last time to go on your birthday. So, your birthday is always August 15th. I'm leaving May 29th. So, let me celebrate you as governor. Then, when the governor comes and he wants to celebrate you, I will be invited. <laughs> that is, as a guest, I will be. this one, I'm the one that I'm going to make sure that River State Government celebrates you in this year, 74th birthday. Just speaking, Your Excellency, and our guests who are here, I feel delighted. I feel so happy that I'm standing here today for all of us to celebrate a man who has done well for the state. A man who people have abused his simplicity and generosity. There's no standing politician today in this state standing, more than standing, that you say you are standing from 1999 to today that he did not make. Not one. Not one. And in life, John Lawal was very much signed on key said, there's nothing as appreciating people, thanking people who have one way in their life contributed in you growing. But today, we are this, we are that, is because somebody was responsible for it. God used that person, that person was an instrument to make us to be where we are today. Who cares this? Who cares that? If God did not use him as an instrument, it would have been impossible for me. So, for us, we have used him as a school. We have used him and we thank him for making himself available. To use him to learn so that we won't be shocked of whatever that's going to happen. Don't leave the school, people should go and learn. That's why he has to live to 200 years. Your Excellency, let me, on behalf of my darling wife, Mary. Our children. Four of them and our grandchildren, eight of them. And our in-laws. Our reverence, led by Monsignor Key, and the other priests. Welcome and thank all of you who have gathered here today. Like His Excellency said, and I want to affirm that it's true, 
can only be assigned and ascribed to the will of Almighty God. So I want to begin by thanking the governor's colleagues who in spite of all their numerous endless challenges have continued to identify with our government. And for the kind words both of you my former colleague and brother, the former governor of Cross River State, and all those who met and rendered goodwill messages. May God bless you, all of you and pay you back in God's way someday the kindness of thoughts that you've conveyed to us will also be conveyed to you our people have a saying that a good dance begins with the first step Before I became governor-elect in 1998, I didn't know governor. Until he emerged as the flag bearer for his local council under the umbrella. That's how our political relationship started. And as local government chairman, he was the best performing local government council chairman. And throughout his tenure as the council chairman, There was nothing that happened in the Odili family or in our extended families, including my in-laws, that he and the wife did not identify with. I have been to many government houses. I've been to many presidential lodges. I've not seen anyone that competes with this. And this is Governor's birthday gift to me and my wife and family. Your Excellency, I know we are running against time because of your numerous programs, but permit me on behalf of the elders and the good people of River State express our deep appreciation for what you have used your governance to do for Rivers people and to do for the Odili family in particular. If there was time I will talk for two hours. But let me thank you more for two outstanding things you've done which you never put before the public. The first will be your effort in human resource development, especially the scholarship support to reverse indigenous 
who gained admission on merit to Pamo University of Medical Sciences. But permit me to say that one of the landmark things you've achieved was the initiation and the facilitation of a campus of the law school in Port Harcourt. And from what I have heard, that campus will be the attraction of every law student who qualifies for law school from all over the country. It is second to none.